Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect an IR24 remote control 24 key to the ESP8266 using WLED. Let's get to it. I had this one lying around for an older um, LED strip, just trying to connect it with uh, a, a, the RGB LEDs, the addressable LEDs. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you have this um, kind of uh, controllers and remote control. Yeah, just um, I had uh, a little bit uh, of time to figure out how to how to connect it to um, the board, as uh, on the existing board, all the cables doesn't say any V plus V minus signal or any. Thing like that if you see here you get nothing written on the on the board like which one the uh, V plus or V minus or signal or data um, yeah and took me a fair bit of time to just like find out how to connect it anyway after long research and uh, figuring out so we don't need that as like just we're gonna connect the um, receiver to the to the LEDs or to the ESP ESP um, board and we can control the lights like the basic controls on off brightness up down white blue green red and you got here the flash strobe fade and smooth so you can choose any color of these too so but it's basically just to turn on and off it's like if you not really want to use your WLED app on your phone you just for basic use maybe if you've got something inside the house or something just to control it with the remote control just put some lights around I always thought on the ESP board I thought we we had to connect. If you see this additional wire coming out of the um, <coughs> these wires, like I've done like a common ground there to connect. I thought going to be connected to the same data pin, and the same data pin going to be connected to this one and to the lights. So, uh, but I figured it out that like um, the pin number D two. That's the recommended to use the remote control. You can connect multiple outputs here, like maybe two or three on the ASP. So I'm using for my LEDs a D4 and a D2 going on the um, receiver. So we got from left to right signal. The middle one will be the ground. The right side will be the V plus. Okay. So again, signal, the middle one will be ground, the last one in here on the right, on the right hand side will be the voltage. Where to connect them on the ESP, show you where. So we don't need that, after I figure out like it should be connected on different uh, pin. So data will be on the left ground in the middle voltage on the right hand side on the ESP board of course as I mentioned before the data will be on D2 which is the third pin from the top right and you could connect the IR receiver to the 3 volt or the 5 volt from the other side I'm connecting it for now for on um, the 3 volt 3 volt here and the ground next to it exactly 
reconnect the ground wire to the ground next to the tree vault and again the data fell off so we put it again on D2 the lights we got the data will be connected on D4 sorry in the camera not focusing D4 and for the lights we connect a ground so just to help not flickering now we connect the ESP to the USB cable to power it up now all good to go turn the power on that's the ESP lighting up so this is the IR this is the remote now we go through the off on off on Point it to the okay. It's the flash strobe and fade. Yeah, and just the basic effects. Just if you don't want to use WLED on the phone, just like sometimes you reach to the remote control and just like change the effects if you have like smaller prop or something inside the house or some other design you could use the remote control and okay, have I done it and uh, just uh, go on the WLED app and uh, uh, I'm recording on the phone I would have showed you exactly but on the app you go to config and go to the IR section and the uh, first i think like when you put your lights in wled will be gpio2 so underneath that you get section for the ir and uh, you could just like put uh, the gpio4 but on the board will be d2 d2 on the board on the wled will be gpio4 uh, so easy at that just like uh, put that and uh, under the uh, sync uh, interface you go to just to scroll down a little bit in the page and you find um, uh, the IR just like you do make a tick on it or doesn't matter I don't think um, uh, important for the remote control to work because I turned it on and off and uh, the remote control was still working so um, so yeah that's how you do it and hope this video helped you and uh, as uh, I use a lot of uh, the ESP boards ESP the uh, 8266 and uh, 32 mini and uh, uh, MCU stars in both but the smaller uh, we must uh, uh, 8266 to run all my lighting shows my Christmas lighting if you'd like to make some videos about uh, how I control my lighting with uh, these boards and uh, I'll be happy to uh, post some videos and help you out how to do it as I'm I'm running all my lighting show through Wi-Fi and sync it to the music with X light it saves me a lot of uh, big controllers so and even i have a lot of good tips on power injection you probably you don't need any power injections in your setup uh, yeah uh, let me know in the comment if uh, you need any uh, uh, informations i'll be happy to help with thank you and have a good one uh, till the next video thank you bye